there, future nurse. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I bet you'll like this video. And if you do, be sure to head to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube for way more content than you can get here. And you can sign up for free. Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you about blood types and blood transfusions. Now, the first thing we need to talk about is red blood cells. I've drawn up a couple of red blood cells up here. They're extremely important because they carry oxygen and carbon dioxide around our body, delivering oxygen to our tissues and taking that carbon dioxide away. So they're really important for shuttling gases in our blood. But the thing is this, our red blood cells have proteins on them, covering their surfaces. And these proteins are like little flags. These little flags tell the body that this red blood cell belongs to you. That's what they say. And these little flags are called antigens. So little proteins on the surfaces of our red blood cells are called antigens, and we use them to signify that they belong to the body. Now, another thing that the body does is the body produces things called antibodies. Now, antibodies are important because what they do is they recognize antigens as being foreign. So if a protein gets into my body that doesn't belong to the body, well, it's going to be a flag that says, hey, I don't belong to you. The antibody will bind to it, agglutinate it, and target it to get rid of. This is actually what happens when pathogens enter the body. So microorganisms that shouldn't be there, they're covered in antigens that say, hey, I don't belong to you, and our antibodies recognize it. Now, when we look at blood types, what you're going to find is that Different people have different types of antigens on the surface of their red blood cells. And there's actually a couple of different types. In actual fact, there is over 300 different types of antigens and possible combinations of antigens just on our red blood cells. But we're gonna talk about the most important type clinically for blood transfusions. So the types of antigens you can get include the A antigen, it includes the B antigen. Both the A and the B antigen. And also something that has no antigen. And we actually write this as O. Now what we've just drawn up is actually blood types. The most important clinically relevant blood typing that you can think of is that of the ABO blood types. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.